It is so annoying. You're trying to use your iPad or your laptop at the house, but you can have a Wi-Fi dead zone. There is some good news, though. 12 inch size Marilyn Moore shows us there is an easy fix. Chris Patterson's family struggled with Wi-Fi dead spots for years. The router for our house is on one side of the house, while most of the time we're on the other side of the house. It was kind of getting hard to use the Wi-Fi without being in the living room. That changed, though, when they got a mesh network. It changed the Wi-Fi completely, and all of a sudden now it worked everywhere in the house. What's the magic of a mesh router? Mesh networks use several routers together to spread the Wi-Fi signal throughout your house and around obstacles. Some common items include a fish tank, a big metal refrigerator, the pipes in your home. These can all sort of block the Wi-Fi signal and prevent you from getting a decent connection. Consumer Reports tests routers for what matters most, how fast they send a signal from several distances, and data privacy and security. These mesh networks from Linksys and TP-Link aced the distance tests. You set them up using an app and they have automatic updates to help protect your data. Both support Wi-Fi 6, but even a mesh network that uses the older Wi-Fi 5 may feel like an upgrade, and that will save you money. Everything is backwards compatible, so if you buy a brand new iPhone today, which has the latest Wi-Fi chip in there, it's going to work fine with the Wi-Fi 5 router. Like the Google Nest Wi-Fi, recommended for small or medium-sized houses. That's what Chris has, and dead zones are no longer a thing. For less money, a Wi-Fi extender may do the trick, especially if you only have one pesky dead zone in your house. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News.